Welcome to the second episode of the Seven Acre Mixed Farm Layout. Like I told you in our first episode, we had a lot of facilities or a lot of structural ventures. On the same layout, we had poultry, we had the chicken, we had the ducks, we had the turkey. We also talked about 200 goats still on the same piece of land. We still talked about fish farming. In this episode, we are still about animals. I promised you about rabbits. Let me first start with cow, dairy cow. We have 20 dairy cows on this layout. Basically, I'm going to talk about our structure as a designer. We have 20 dairy cows. When you look at our structure, basically, they are the structures we've been showing you. And when you look at our structure of 20 dairy cows, we have the feeding area or we have the feeding section. You see our feeders, they are there. And we also have partition on this feeding area who helps the cows to feed simultaneously without any conflict within the feeds because each animal will enter its head within that tubicle and feed within the feeder without any competition that is good for our animals and it's good for their growth and these two because they are of dimensions that cows can raise or they can lie very well and comfortable. In that manner, we designed also water points. This water point, all these water points, they are in the middle that all animals can easily access the water. That wherever it is or wherever it has been feeding from, it can easily access the water point. Water is essential for animals, like you all know. So, water points can't miss in the structure. The other thing we have about the structure is the flooring. If you look at the flooring, it's made of concrete. Why we make it of concrete is for easy cleaning and the hygiene of the structure. Concrete is easily cleaned. Or when you pour water there and scrub, it's easy to wash off all the what? All the dung that was put there. Or even if it's not washing it, it's easy to clean and wipe it off, which is not the same case with the bare ground. And when I still talk about the hygiene part of it, is that there is no stagnant water that comes off or that is collected around this concrete. Because it is made in such a way that is slanting a bit and it's slanting towards the drainage channel. When you look at our structure or our design plan, it is aligned very well or you can easily see the drainage channels there. That urine is swept off to the west pit. And the other thing we have about the structure is the aeration. We need aeration within the structure because we don't need our animals to suffocate within an enclosed area or an enclosed structure. So this thing is good for our animal. We have the exercising area for the animal. In cases of cleaning the structure, you can first put out the animals. You put them out, you're cleaning the area, or in cases of immunization, or in cases of weighing them, this exercising yard can help you out in that. The other thing we have is the calf section, because like I told you, they are dairy cows. They will have calves, so we have the section for calves that goes up to around eight calves. So the calves too have the feeding area, they have the sleeping area too. For them, they have a bit more treatment. Because they are calves, they need to be taken care of. So in that way, our structure is there. And the other thing we have about the layout, they are the 200 rabbits. Like I promised you in the other episode, I'm going to talk about rabbits. We have 200 rabbits here. And when you look at their structure, it is gazetted by the mesh around. You might think and be like, hey, don't rabbits need the solid blocks or the solid wall? The answer is yes and no. Basically, we prefer the mesh because the rabbits are also killing animals like you see goats. They need AI within, they need sunlight within so that they don't over smell and so on, things like that. So when you look at their structure, their cages inside, they are kept in cages. You don't just leave them there in a deep little way. They are kept in cages. So each cage can carry like two rabbits, three rabbits, things like that. And when you look at their structure, there are some gutters along the structure. 
and their flooring is made of mesh. So in case they are defecating something like that, urinating, it falls through the mesh to the iron sheets below. Then the dirt is collected on the gutter on the side. That's generally the structure. The other thing we have is the hair dryer. The hair dryer, you might see it as an, an important structure on the farm, but it's really useful. You might be like, and be like, hey, when I cut my grass, I can keep it under the sun and it dries easily. But the disadvantage of that is that all the nutrients within the grass, it will erode away with the sun because the sun will hit directly the grass and all the nutrients will disappear. So when you use this hair dryer, the advantage of it is that nutrients are all kept intact. They are still intact within the grass. So even if the grass is dry, the nutrients are still where? They are still there. It has a deck where you raise your grass there and they dry very well. The other thing we have about the layout is the staff quarter. You will need workers on the farm to help you in overseeing these animals. So these animals need to be taken care of too. So we have that section where there are staff that will be helping you out, where they will be residing, sleeping, and other things. The other thing we have is the storage facility. This is an essential part on your farm because you can't keep your hose and other machinery Hose wheelbarrows, you can't keep them out. So you'll need a storage unit for that. And this warehouse we have on the farm layout will be storing both the feeds and also the machinery within the farm. The other thing we have there are the pastures. On these seven acres, we have all these ventures, almost 11 ventures or 10, but still we have a section for pastures. And if you don't go for a layout, it's not simple for a normal person to organize their layout to an extent of staying with a portion for pastures. This is the best thing for having those layouts or master plans for your farm. This brings in the importance of these layouts. We organize these things according to the behaviors of the animals. We can't put chicken near rabbits. We can't put some things next to each other due to their behavior. If you do them yourself there, you might collide with certain behaviors. So if you're there, you'd wish to have your layout or a master plan for your farm, or you already have some things there, and you wish to erect everything on the farm, or you need to have an organized layout. You know things when they are organized, there are a lot of advantages that come along. That even maintenance, drainage, things like that, and efficiency for the farm and productivity also increasing. So that's why I urge everyone there to have a layout. And if you're worried where to get the layout from, KMD group of companies is the right plug for you. So you come in at our offices or check on our website, WhatsApp us, call us, things like that. We are the right people for you, for the layouts, for the designs, for your structures for everything that you would need. You need construction, you need many more things about farm because we are a home of modern farming strategy. If you need anything about your farm, you're puzzled about something, there is something you don't know how to go about it. So this is, KMD is the right place for you. It's the right area for you to run to so that all your problems are solved. Thank you, I remain Jane Nachimuli from KMD Group of Companies.